What is going on everyone with Ashes of Creations Alpha 1 NDA drop just days away I wanted to give you guys an updated video on everything we know about Alpha 1 and what we can expect from this weekend test along with the month-long test happening in another few days. But before we get into this, keep in mind that I will be streaming Alpha 1 this Friday and this Saturday, along with next week in the full month-long Alpha 1 test. So go follow twitch.tv slash richiesh and stay tuned because there is going to be a lot of streams and it's going to be a lot of fun and you'll be able to get a very good glimpse at Vera and the classes within. Starting off, with this NDA drop, you can expect that a lot of players will be discovering Ashes of Creation for the first time. With many new streamers and old streamers and big names and small names all broadcasting this game and showing us what Intrepid has been working on. And if you are one of these new players and are wondering how exactly you can get in on the testing, well, it will cost you a bit if you want to jump in today. If you head over to AshesOfCreation.com and click on the Shop tab, you will notice a number of packages ranging from $75 to $500 with various perks and cosmetics included within. In order to play Alpha 1 today, you'll need to drop a whopping $500 on the Adventurer pre-order package. The other packages will grant you Alpha 2 through Beta 2 access depending on which ones you buy, but if you're planning on buying anything, you'll also need an account and you can sign up for one right on the Ashes website that you're on, or you can use my referral link in the description below. Originally, it was said that with Alpha 1, there would be five class archetypes available. But unfortunately, as things progressed, we now only have three. The Cleric, your Master of Light. These guys are the healers in Alpha 1, giving you a variety of different heal spells, along with some pretty strong damage dealing spells as well. The Mage being the big damage dealer for the Alpha, these guys will throw out various magical abilities dealing damage at enemy targets, giving you a variety of different types of magic from fire to arcane. And last, the Tank, which obviously will be the guys taking the hits when running through dungeons in Alpha 1 and fighting world bosses. To pair with your class, there will be one of four races to choose from as well. The Kalar Humans, which are your traditional humans who like living in large castles and in foresty lands, and all of that. Then there are the Veiloon Humans, whom tend to like to settle in deserts instead of the foresty areas along with the Dunir Dwarves that dwell in the mountains, and the Empyrean Elves, who are known to be an elite military force. With each race, there is very minimal character customization right now. Don't get upset over this, as we aren't here to test how good your female dwarf beards look today. But there is still a small amount of hairstyles and skin colors and all that that you can choose from. But the bulk of the character customization will come a lot later down the road in testing. Throughout your adventures in this small section of Vera, you'll run into all sorts of different types of creatures, biomes, and more, as you will find yourself exploring snowy mountains, grasslands, deserts, marshlands, the Underrealm, which is a fluorescent underground area, and the ginormous tropical region that is the entire north side of the map. And in these areas, there will be various dungeons, quest hubs, and points of interest for you to explore. And no, you can't jump into the volcano unless you find out how to glitch your way through the boundary walls. The questing you come across is more of a placeholder, as the more in-depth story and questing experience won't be seen until Alpha 2, but that doesn't mean there aren't a lot of quests, as there is well over 200 to partake on. When you're ready to jump in, you and every other participant will be starting in the southern mountains as you come through a divine gateway that seems to have an ancient dwarven ruin built around it. This area will run you through some of the basics, with quests that introduce you to combat, have you scout out potential nodes, craft your first weapons, and gather poisonous flowers for that NPC that is too afraid to do it for you. It is a cool area that resides in these snowy mountains that gets you really pumped to set out and explore the world. You will find a variety of quests to keep you busy as they begin to move you north to the nodes and progress to level 15. In Alpha 1, there are 9 nodes, 3 on the southern island and 6 in the north all of which start out at level 0, the wilderness stage. And as you do quests within these nodes zone of influence and kill monsters and farm XP, 
then XP will be contributed to these nodes as well, and eventually we'll level them up from an encampment up to a village, which is the stage three. As a node levels up, more questing and crafting opportunities will arise as new NPCs and vendors will make their home in these nodes. There will also be the ability to create a guild for 500 gold, purchase mounts and armor along with crafting your own gear, purchase a house, and run for mayor and construct buildings in the node if you become mayor. There is also a caravan system that allows you to bring a caravan from one node to another delivering goods, giving you a bulk of content to keep you busy for the month-long testing event. If you are looking for some large-scale PvP to watch and or play in Alpha 1, well, Castle Sieges will be a big part of this as well. These events that will require you to be part of a guild, even if it is a one-man guild that you created yourself, will put you in a testing environment that have you either attack or defend a castle. There will be ballistas for the attackers and trebuchets for the defenders to use to complete objectives which include capturing various points, fighting dragons for raid buffs, and storming the gates to try and attempt to take the throne in this hour-long battle. This area will also have crafting materials that are exclusive to the area and are required for some of the endgame armor you can require in the Alpha 1 tests. Those looking to seek the trades, well there will be a very basic crafting system implemented as well, giving you the core basics which will be facilitated through NPCs. You will be able to gather materials and turn those materials into armor, weapons, or potions with the correct blueprints and items needed. This crafting is going to be very, very, very basic and is said to not even scratch the surface of the crafting system that they are planning on implementing. Through this crafting system and dungeons, there will be roughly 49 different armor sets that can be obtained. The combat, as I've said in previous videos, is ever-changing in Alpha 1. The new combat backend was recently patched in, so the real work is really just beginning. Players will have access to a variety of abilities to spec into on their journey to level 15, along with various passive abilities to change up their character's stats. You will have the ability to choose to fight in a more traditional tab targeting system or show your skills in action combat, having you lock onto your targets and aim your attacks for a more impactful feeling to the system. What you see for combat will be far from the final hybrid system, as there is a ton of work to be done for this. What are you most excited to see in Alpha 1? Let me know in the comments down below, and if you are new to Ashes at all and have yet to create an account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, Turn on the bell for notifications and stay tuned for a lot more to come.